Ah! Welcome to another Fresh Up of Stalls. Hello, I'm covered in blood. Why? Because I've just been to see, I've just been to see Carrie the Musical. Ah, okay, so this this is a um, a, a reworking and a sort of a, a newish version of the infamous Broadway flop. And the baffling uh, RSC uh, transfer. Now, it's um, I went with very low expectations of this. Carrie is an amazing film. Anyone who hasn't seen the original, not the terrible remake, should absolutely see it. It's um, one of Stephen King's uh, best novels and uh, one of the best adaptations of them. Um, so it's just kind of like, mm, I always thought, like, how would you do Carrie as a musical? And sort of think that this is either going to be really, really good Oh, really, really terrible. Uh, it's kind of, I, w I went thinking, like, there's going to be no two ways about this. It's either going to be inspired or just awful. Um, my expectations were further lowered uh, in that this is, uh, I don't know if this is going to sound awful to say, but um, it's been done by Paul Taylor Mills Limited. Uh, now, the last two shows of theirs I've seen have been Bat Boy at the Summit Playhouse and Close to Heaven very recently at the Union Theatre. So, yeah, um, the less said about those, the better. So I just thought, like, okay, let's see it. I, I love the film. I'm really interested to see how it, uh, the, the film transfers uh, onto stage. Um, let's go for it. It could be awful, and if it's awful, well, there you go. I see awful things sometimes. It's part and parcel of being a critic, uh, and sometimes it's brilliant, and you can be utterly, utterly surprised. The latter happened. My goodness, the latter happened tonight. Uh, oh, gosh, it's going... Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, I hope it washes out. Um, I hope it doesn't get over the cat. Uh, where am I going? Yes, carry the musical. Brilliant. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, not, not all I'm going to say, otherwise there's no point doing one of these videos. Um, it is really astonishing. I'm so glad that I've had my expectations blown left, right and centre as much as the light bulbs. Um, so, yeah. Car oh, God, it's just... This might not have been my best idea for one of these videos. Oh, well, onwards. Um, oh, it's getting all over my hands, the program. Um, good, though. Uh, so, yeah. It's really, really good. Where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Um, I think I'll start with the thing that I think was the least convincing. I don't know if that just completely blocked me out there. Um, sorry if it did. Although you probably don't want to be looking at this too much. Um, I think the... Uh, the book and the music are not great at points. There's some moments where it does really well, um, and I can understand that. Well, you know, I can look at it, and I didn't see the uh, the, the 1998 version, um, so I can't really compare it. But it's just like some of the bits, I'm just like, oh yeah, it's not not really great. Some of the lyrics are a bit clumsy uh, and awkward. Some of the music is a bit. Um, a bit generic and a bit flat, but I think what they've done here and what uh, what the reworking and the work they've done with Paul Taylor Mills to uh, to bring new blood, pardon the pun, to the musical work really well. Um, there's some great pacing in it. Uh, some of the songs are actually uh, quite decent. They're not all terrible um, by no stretch of the imagination. Um, so yeah, there's just a few numbers I'm just thinking, oh no, no. <laughs> But overall, it's really great. And what I love about this is that it does find a really odd, really tense pacing, which is what surprised me the most, actually. Um, it kind of really, uh, especially Carrie uh, as a narrative, it's a really long, well, not really long, it's quite a slow build crescendo. Uh, and it's something that you really get involved with the characters and just how twisted they are. And I think that finds that pace in that for the musical, uh, especially as this goes on for two and hours, 20 minutes with interval, whereas the film is... Uh, what, around 90, 100 minutes? So it's kind of ex extended it. There's some parts where the tension can just really slowly racks up, um, uh, and especially it's, there's lots of juxtaposition with kind of like, oh, this is kind of like almost a sweet song, but you know there's where it's kind of building to, and you know that underneath it there's this really sort of horrible twistedness to it, and you really get taken along with it. Um, and I think that's part, that is uh, partly because of the music and lyrics, but I think it's also part of the direction and the production and the cast as well. Let's talk about direction and production. The production is fantastic. Um, tell, you know, because this, this, is, this is a show all about uh, a girl with telekinetic powers, not to be confused with Matilda, although this really is just the adult version of Matilda. That's a horrible realisation to have. Um, part way through the show. So, um, 
not horrible, but like, oh yeah. Um, where am I going? Yes, uh, it looks great. I've seen some great sets at the Summit Playhouse, but I was just thinking, how are they technically going to do a lot of a spooky, spooky paranormal stuff? Um, I've done it really well. They've got on board, where's it, designer, designer, Tim McQuillan Wright, who has worked on Ghost. So, I mean, they've got, they've got some A-game people on board, and it looks great. Um, some of the special effects are also really good. I just started thinking, like, how did they do that? That's... oh dear. Um, uh, so, yeah, it looks great. The lighting as well, the lighting's phenomenal. I really love this kind of, uh, this sort of, this blotchy day glow hue. It's, uh, even though it's kind of, the, the show has been reset, um, uh, in modern times, it still has a kind of very sort of late 70s, early 80s feel to it. Um, and the, sh the work that lighting uh, director, where's the name, where's the name, where's the name... Do, 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 do. Oh yes, and was it special effects Jeremy Chernick. I mismentioned him because I just mentioned the special effects. Need to credit him properly. I kind of forgot that. Uh, Tim Oliver. Tim Oliver's lighting is fantastic. Some really great work with uh, sh uh, with shadows, especially, and it really creates this wonderful eerie feel. I love the fact that the the main performance area is dipped, so they've got um, floor lights in as well, which had a really great effect. Direction, I think, is great as well. So that would be Gary Lloyd directing. Makes great use of all the set, uh, all the space, sorry. Uh, um, especially, I loved uh, how, at one point, Carrie's mother drags her up, up through the red seating and shoves her into a hole at the back. Um, it's really great. Uh, I think it does well to play uh, to most of uh, the Jutt. Uh, it, it's a Jutt setup again, which is always difficult to direct to, uh, I think, because, like, as I've always said, like you're always going to do something like everyone can't quite always see but it's it's a very bold thing and I think it works really well and Gary Lloyd really has I think a lot of control along uh, uh, over that pacing and that tension building and it's utterly fantastic but what I think really 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 oh god there's a big blotch of blood in the pogo wipe it off stained forever what works really really greatly ah oh, the cast the cast are just they're supernatural, I'm going to say that. I can't believe that these people are real. They've been developed in a lab somewhere. Um, so, uh, and and they're all brilliant. Uh, so, Sarah McNicholas as Sue Snell as well. She was probably my, uh, one of my favourite sort of uh, actors as the sort of, uh, as the, uh, um, I keep forgetting this blood on my face. Um, <laughs> Uh, as, as, as a girl who tries to reach out uh, as Carrie as well, she's really tender, really sort of, really sort of deep and very sincere. She brings a wonderful sincerity to it. Um, really, really good. Also a great voice. Um, uh, also, I mean, it's the girls. It's all the girls I'll be mentioning. Uh, who played Chris? Who played Chris? Do 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 do. Uh, Gabriella Williams. Oh God, vile. I loved her. She was brilliant. She. I. I don't think I've seen a bully so so suave and so cocksure she was really really good however the stow the stow really was stolen uh the show really was stolen uh by carrie and her mother so it was kim chriswell as margaret white um crazy crazy religious fanatic she Get it down to a T. She really kind of has a, that real sort of fire and brimstone fervor to the point of absolute madness, and she brings some. She brings this wonderful sort of fretful, twisted um, terribleness to to the role of the mother, and a wonderful voice. Not just uh, uh, not just in sort of the sort of musical style, but this wonderful moments where she's almost sort of this wonderful choral soprano as well. But yeah, it's a wonderful blend of singing voice and this fantastic performance as well. And the same has to go to uh, Evelyn Hoskins as Carrie White. Her voice is stunning. Like, uh, it's not overdone, um, like some people try to do that sort of big Broadway sort of style of, of uh, singing once more again with feeling, but she nails it. There is power, there is confidence, there is confidence, there is quality in her voice, and it's phenomenal. But her, again, her acting as Carrie is brilliant. I love her as a sort of shy, sort of retiring, long hair, uh, and then kind of when she finally finds her own, and when she finally snaps, she is intimidating, and she's this, she's this lovely little um, sort of uh, lady quite slight uh, very it looks almost delicate but you just kind of like she goes mad she goes around covered in blood doing what she does as Carrie and you're like 
ah, uh, no, that's not right, uh, can I leave? Um, so, yeah, brilliant. The only thing I can say about the show is that, and, and kind of what I knew would happen, is that it, when it comes to the big climax, when it comes to the, to the whole thing, it's not as good as the film. Um, I don't know, I, you know, you can't really expect it, because film can do things in, on stage that you uh, just can't do. That's not to say it does give it a really good try, and it does give it a really good try, but it is just... It is a bit of a letdown. You get that wonderful tension, that wonderful pace building up to this, and then it just, it's not as great as you'd expect, or not expect, as you'd want it to be, really. But all in all, an absolutely excellent show. I'm so glad, despite my, um, <laughs> despite two <laughs> very recent negative experience of um, uh, stuff that Paul Taylor Mills has done, I'm so glad that they've brought this on, and they've found a new life for it, and they've found a new interpretation, and given it something that, that isn't uh, isn't the the campy flop that was on uh, Broadway, isn't the ridiculous, uh, overwrought thing that the RSC uh, did. So, excellent show. Go see it. You'll be surprised. It is a really good show and an amazing cast and a top-notch production behind it. Summer Playhouse, as much as I've loved everything, um, uh, well, I loved a lot of things that are done there, uh, I think this has actually probably just talked it a little. And I don't know, I don't know, because like Titanic, Dogfight, um, other things I've seen before, but this is just... But I think I, 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 I'm I reeling, reeling in a positive way. I know it's, there's no such thing as reeling in a positive way. I'm misusing my words um yeah i'm sort of still on a buzz and because i've had my expectations just so just shattered brilliant i i love it when theatre does this and i love it when i'm sat there going oh uh literally like biting my nails at one point i thought like oh i wasn't expecting to do that uh american lady next to me was just going nuts but there you go she's american ah that's racist but <laughs> Oh, she was lovely. She really enjoyed it as well. And, you know, just listen to her. She was she was like, oh, I really love the film. I'm not sure how this is going. I really hope this isn't a musical. It's called Carry the Musical. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to go wash up. This is, ugh, this is horrible. Uh, <laughs> it's so uncomfortable to wear. Um, hats off. H uh, hats off to Evelyn for like being doused in a bucket of the stuff. Literally. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go wash up, calm down and then go out and tell everyone to go bloody see the show. Bloody see the show. It's out. I'm going goodbye.